We're just waiting on a few more people. Yes, sir. Is that guy um in the corner over there to the right rolling up some wheat? Excuse me, sir. What you got going on over here, man? Um, I'm sorry, man. I'll just run a little something up. No, there is no sorry, sir. That's the, um blatant disrespect. Um, I'm gonna have you put him in the sales until this case is over. Come yes, on, man. Sir, where are you running to, man? Damn, bro. Just trying to get high, bro. I ain't court. That's what I got. Well, he dressed Damn, up, though. bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm looking spiffy, man. We'll go to spiffy in jail. Sorry, Ronnie. If you, if you, you need that away. later. On the house. Why are you over there looking like a bag of Skittles? Is, is everybody back here? Is everyone back? Uh, I don't see the district attorney, sir. All right, so we're waiting on the district attorney. Uh, yes, is sir. my bailiff here? Where's Douglas? Or him. Okay, there's the district attorney. District attorney right there. All right. Okay, just so now just Mr. Douglas. What happened to that boy right there? All right. Um, All right. Was it a second defendant? Uh, there were no charges being brought against the defendant because I don't believe... He was going to be brought in as a witness, but we excused. Uh, okay. Okay. We excused that. All right. So um, let's move on to closing statements. Okay. As I was saying before the weather hit, I believe that all the evidence today shows that Mr. Duke Jackson was found in possession. JB Cuts. Good looking for them gifts. Grams of crack cocaine, as well as $30,000 worth of unmarked bills. The evidence today shows that Mr. Jackson fled and eluded the police. Uh, what could have just been an easy traffic stop for Mr. Jackson ultimately resulted in him being arrested yet again for drug charges. Uh, now, you may be saying to yourself, so what's the big deal? Like, like who cares? He had some drugs on him. Unfortunately, with the amount of drugs that Mr. Jackson had on him, it leads us to believe that he was, in fact, distributing narcotics to the civilians of Los Santos. Shit ain't poisoning looking good. the people of this community. Shit ain't looking good now, tonight. I'm sure you heard his lawyer say the evidence speaks for itself, and I'd just like to end it with that. Yes, the evidence speaks for itself. Mr. Jackson, we believe, is guilty of all charges. Thank you. Mr. King, closing statements. I mean, Mr. Kane, closing statements. I hear you. Hope everyone in this My nigga running with the gippies. Close attention to what just occurred. This is another piece of the puzzle that we have to deal with. This is part two of the game. My client, again, like I stated, 
is being falsely accused with, serve, with several different charges. And his court proceedings show that. Please pay very close attention. Thank you. Mr. Duke Jackson, what do you have to say for yourself? Man, this shit crazy. That's all I got to say, man. I ain't gonna lie. All right. All right, since we don't have a jury, then there's no need to um take a break and deliberate. So right now, the guidelines, which we'll, we will be following for today, is already set in stone. But um, in future references, Anybody that catches a case, the guidelines will be different. As you all know that we're trying to implement new things, new regulations and new guidelines into the G DOJ. So today is the last day that these guidelines will be the way that they are. Okay, so after reviewing the evidence the um, and the charge of fleeing and evading, which holds 20 to 30 months. Duke Jackson, this court finds you guilty. And you will get a um, $10,000 fine. Oh, hell no. Wow. And the case in the charge of distribution of narcotics, Duke Jackson, we find you guilty. And that um, crime holds 45 to 60 months. The fleeing and evading holds 20 to 30 months. Since you did come to trial, you will be getting sentenced to the max, which is 90 months. Damn. But I will run the sentence concurrent. The 30 months for fleeing and evading and the 60 months for distribution of narcotics. So you will be doing 60 months all together because the time will be running concurrent. And you do have a $20,000 fine. That you must pay. Now, Your Honor, yes. Uh, I would also ask: Does this sentence also carry an IRS audit and a search and seizure of assets due to its uh, link to narcotics? Due to the charge of distribution of narcotics, there will be a seizure of all assets. Oh my God! And everything of that nature. Next outburst. Next outburst. You will be held in contempt of my court. Next outburst will be held in contempt of my court. Um, get get um Cash App Twenty out of here. Put him in the sales. He's in the back. White shirt, black hat. Get him out of this court. Get him out of your court. So, Duke, you have sixty months, twenty thousand dollar fine, seizure of all assets, and um, when you are home from prison. You will be placed on parole. You have to come check in with the DOJ. We will give you a number to call. You have to come check in in person three times. And that and after you check in on the third time, your parole term will be up. And during this parole time sentence, you will have to maintain a job. So don't get fired. Don't quit until after the three check-ins or you will be sent back to prison. Are we clear? Mr. Jackson, are we clear? We good. All right. Now, I've heard that you did some time already upstate. That's true. Now, if you were a first-time offender, then I would have counted that time. But this is your first time in my courtroom. Right? So I'm not going to enhance your guidelines. But I will not also not count the time that you already did. So you will do the full 60 months. And when you come home, you owe three check-ins. Um, District Attorney, could you give the defendant your um, contact information so when he comes home, he can come check in? District Attorney. Oh, I'm so sorry, Judge. My voice box had to take a cough drop. What was the question? Could you give um, the defendant, Mr. Jackson, a, um, some contact information on his um, parole officer, which can be the DOJ, 
So when he comes home, he can check in and he owes three check ins and has to maintain the job. Absolutely, sir. I can provide him with that. Okay, so once you get that contact information, um, we, you can be sent on your way. And court is adjourned. Oh, it all may rise and exit the premises. You can feel how you feel. Prisoner? You can feel how you feel. Yes, sir. After he's released? Yes, sir. It's boarded. So if you want to come with me. All right. Douglas. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will need your phone number. Because I will need I, Whenever we have court, I will need a baby. That's okay. Let me get through. Let me get through. Let me get the door. Let, let's, let's get these people out of this courtroom first. Let's get the courtroom out. Put my hat on real quick. Yeah, of course. Put my hat on real quick. It's so good. Clear the courtroom, please. Clear the courtroom. Amen. Amen. Alright, well that's your parole yeah. officer, this, sir. District Attorney, did you get the contact information? I sure did, yeah, he's in the process of getting it now. He's not very receptive, unfortunately. Okay, if he does not check in, if he does not check in, then that'll be on him. I will. Do you like that? Okay. Okay. Right. How you doing here, Judge, so much, Judge, District Attorney? What's going on? How you doing, sir? How you doing? My name is Judge Clear, 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 Clear. I was just transferred to this division. Okay. Yeah, we need to talk to you. Okay. okay. Definitely need to talk to you. Uh, Mr. Kane, we need to talk to you as well. I got you. I'm still here, y'all. So we're we're gonna go to the lawyer's office after this, so we can put on um, everything together. Three check-ins. Yeah, we actually can take my car. Come on, follow me. Okay, follow me. Hey, hey, uh, Douglas, when you get a chance, come down by the lawyer's office. I'll be down there so I get your information. No way, no way. Where exactly is the lawyer's office? Uh, Mr. White, break case on the map. The law firm. Oh, oh, got you, got you. All right, yo, right. head down there after this. All right, Douglas, do you, do you want me to come on, guys? I'm staying, I'm staying. I'm staying. Yeah. Can we get a police escort, please? Yes, sir. All right, formation, call the march. What the hell? All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Stay, hold, hold your position, guys. Right. Right. These guys in front of you, they might have weapons. Uh, you, you guys go ahead and go over the front. judge, cover the judge, gentlemen. Thank you. Shoulder to shoulder, front. Oh, Make sure you guys cover the district attorney, the other judge, and the lawyer as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's no car. My oh, car's no bike right here. Right. Cover my right. Cover right. Make sure you get Where's formation in front of the judge and the lawyers. Okay, my car's Make not sure going right here. Hey, back Should up. we move? Hey, hey guys, up. watermelon formation. Move, bro. Move. Watermelon formation, but give them a little space. Don't be, don't be so uh, scrunched up to hey, them, guys. Come hey, on. can y'all go back in the court outside of the car for y'all? Hey, whoever that is calling out orders, we appreciate you, sir. Hey, no problem. So protected. Protected. Uh, Colonel Walter at the Center of State Police. It's nice to meet you, sir. Yeah, go make his way up. I'm gonna go grab um, a car. Oh, yeah, go grab a car. We need to make yes, our way sir. to the garage. Patriot something. Goofy ass bitch. Sir, watch your mouth. Hold watermelon formation. Man, I'm gonna get your ass. Sir, do you want to be? You're not in court. You will be held in contempt. They're trying to hold the motherfucker in consent. That's fucked up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, can I get some pressure? Can you please leave the area? I'm already throwing that ball. Like I'm throwing that ball. Beautiful day in the city. Definitely in need of a dire need of a officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah
I'm we need further instructions on what we're gonna do now that this person's being uh, have his assets seized. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. Correct, um, yeah. yeah. Hold on. Hold on. One second. Don't pull up. Don't pull off yet. Don't pull off yet. We're gonna we're gonna be at the law firm if you need to, if you need tight, to talk further. Tight, all right. right. Lock all the windows. All right. I'm just, I'm just um, you you can take us oh. to the garage. We get a vehicle. All right. Let's go. Busy day in court, eh? Yeah, good day. Nice another another busy, day at the man. office, man. You know. Another day at the office. Right another day, another day at the office, man. I tell you this: this beat stacking hay bales on Grandpa's farm. I tell you that. What was that fella name you just sentenced to the sixty? Um, Duke, Duke Jackson, I believe. Let me oh, hold on. Jackson. Let me put you down. Let me. I'm gonna. Go, I'm gonna grab a car. Give me one second. Ladies first. Oh, thank you. Let me open this door for you, ma'am. Oh, thank you so much. Very quite, kind of you. quite welcome. Let their vehicle leave first, and then you, you have a good day there, officer. Nice automobile you have here. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I actually just purchased this. Great investment. Nothing like a good old Mercedes. Nothing like good old Mercedes. So, uh, Mr. Kane, the reason why we got you in the car, because you have to actually, I want to make it to where lawyers have to be registered with the DOJ to fight a case in court. Okay. So you would have to be with me. registered, right? And yes. it's so good for you because you could come up here as we go over these things and inform your clients on what can and can't happen to them. Okay. Now, um, District Attorney Ripley. Yes, sir. Okay. Now you see how um, uh, having drugs, the guideline, the max for that is sixty months, right? Yeah, I, I don't agree with that. You said you, you, you said you fly. said you do agree with it. I do not. I do not. I think it should be based on what their possession is like how much they actually have yeah so i was going to say with the change we can do one or two things we can do but each gram is a month right or we can do the guideline stay 60 months but if you get caught have it's 60 months time multiplied by however many times you got caught so if you get caught twice it's 60 times two three times 60 times three right or would you like to do however many grams you got is a month each a month a gram how would yeah, that work think, with repeated offenders, though? So, here's the thing, right? Um, let's talk about the office. I like let's, that. Let's talk about the office. Alright, guys. It's more of a double call defense. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Nope. No shields. Just double... What you say your name was, Judge? Hey, how you doing there, Judge? My name is Judge Dick Wrinkley. Okay. Nice to meet you, Judge. Nice to What's meet you. What's your name? What's your name, Judge? My name is Judge Malcolm Jones. Malcolm Jones. Yeah, Malcolm Jones. I heard so much about you, Mr. Malcolm Jones. Thank you. I was down there in Texas, setting it off. In Texas. And what's your name, District Attorney? Oh, uh, Ripley. You got to be one of the chosen ones. Just yes. And this, 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 is, this, this, this right here is Attorney Kane. Um, y'all, y'all saw his performance in court. <laughs> if you look at that as a performance, then you can have that. But that wasn't a performance at all. Uh, call it what you want. Yeah. Look like you had your ass handed to you in there. Ripley, are you preparing you drinks? Sure am. Okay. Okay. Let's get this. Let's let's get this DOJ thing understood. Let's talk guidelines. You know what gives what sentence. Let's talk um, night shift, day shift for me and you, Judge, um, Judge Wrinkley. Um, whether you which which one you want to take because they will need judges in here, seeing as how one people want to go to trial a lot. And um, the only thing Sorry, the only thing that I say that I want to put in place is that if someone gets out of prison, they owe three check ins with a parole officer, and they have to maintain a job. That's that's one thing I want to ask for from the DOJ. Now, if we can bolt that in as a law, then I feel like, you know, people would people would work in the workforce more, you know, and you only you have three check ins. And who will be keeping track of these check ins? That's a the great parole officer. Yeah, the parole Who's officer. The 
So, so is it one parole officer that everyone goes to, or how how do we do that? I think I we think should. Maybe. I think we should divvy it up in shifts. Yeah, you know, I think maybe we can work with the chief uh, as well as the colonel to see. Uh, I mean, depending on where they're arrested, right? Like uh, jurisdiction to, to delegate basically who could be parole officers uh, on behalf of the state. Okay. Okay. So, any 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 candidates that you guys can think of? Let me ask you this: um, Does the NSPD or the SASP has people that um, can act as these parole officers that they check in with? Yeah, we got uh, we got a few people that are actually interested in being parole officers, and we can have multiple of them, so that way, uh, for multiple criminals who get out of prison, they can reach back to the parole officers for different shit. Now, Douglas, correct me if I'm wrong, but before I left the force, I know I was talking with uh, Chief Mikey about instituting a, a shift system. So, would it be possible, you think, for you guys to find at least two per shift system? I uh, mean, minimum two per shift system, if yeah, that's that, in place. That would definitely sound ideal. I know uh, okay. he already put the shift system in deal for sure. Fantastic. Okay, and how will we, uh, like, like, like Judge Wrinkley said, how will we keep track of these check-ins? Would these guys have... um? Would they put it in the MDT system, or how would that work? Yeah, most likely they would put it in MDW, um, so that you know they can check and make sure that that person has been checked on. You said three times would be the the requirement. I say three check ins, and what Mr. Wrinklet was telling me, he had someone on parole back where he came from, and they used to drop him, right? Yeah. But since we're not testing anybody's pay, we could test them for GSR, and that could be our way of testing whether they're clean or not. And if they come back dirty, then and you know the rest. Lock their ass up. How did I like that system? Yeah, that's a fair guy. Wrink wrinklet, could you explain that system right quick? Okay, the system goes as this. We get these parolees out multiple times, they'll be repeat offenders. You hear me? So to keep these, we gotta keep them in order, right? We need to check on these. Like they're children, you hear me? Not necessarily our children, maybe stepchildren. Or maybe adopt. Anyways, we need to keep <laughs> okay. track of these people. Okay, they come in. They have three checkups. Doing them three checkups. If they're clean, we test them for GSR. Any trace of GSR that is a violation of their parole, they will be sent upstate. Give them their fresh prison blues and send them about their way. Okay. <laughs> Any run-ins with the laws, you send them about their way. So we need to keep track. And when we pulling people over, the reason we pulling people over, like these parolees, don't need to be hanging out with people with weapons. If they in a car with somebody with a weapon, they too will be violated. Yes, sir. Okay. They go straight up the river, up yonder. And how and up. how weed is legal. Weed is not legal for someone on parole. Correct. So in order to keep track of them, like how he said, do pop ups on these people. Do we um put in play ankle monitors? Okay, I, I like the ankle monitor idea. Yeah, and, and we like, don't we don't have to subject them to a specific location. It's just so yeah. that we always know where they're at. But I do think, like what Mr. Mr. Jones said, jobs. These fellas need jobs. Yeah, while, while they're on parole, with that. they have to maintain a job. So, okay, let's do this. So, Mr. Wrinkley, he's voting. We test them for GSR, and we add ankle monitors, do random pop-ups, see who they're with, see what they have on them, and see if they have a job. Mm -hmm. Right? And what mm -hmm. I'm... What I'm um, opting in for is three check-ins, right? Mm -hmm. Three check-ins for anyone who goes to prison. Now, um, district attorney um, severely wants to handle these guideline situations. She wants to change the time. So the main crimes that people commit is drugs, moita, and um, it drugs, moita, and what else? And robbery. And a robbery. And mm -hmm. um, possessions, possession and, of uh, illegal weapons. firearms. So yeah. those things, weapons, robbery, drugs, and murder. Chief, what what do you want to do for the guidelines? Well, I think uh, robbery should be dependent on whether or not they have a hostage or not, right? Uh, if it's a violent, if it's a violent uh, robbery, meaning. You know, they have guns and they have a hostage. I think they should do more time, right? And then also they should get charged for the possession of whatever they have. 
Whether so, that be so you saying everything within that crime, um, the hostage situation, the um, possession of a firearm, and robbery, and fleeing and evading, right? Kidnapping Correct. is a very serious offense. That is kidnapping at the end. I of the agree. Day. I agree. Yeah. And I'm going to be honest here, Judge. One of the biggest things that we're seeing is that the streets are flooded with weapons. These crimes being committed, you know, with these dangerous weapons. And none of these people have licenses. We only just started these classes to make sure that people know how to truly, you know, have a, a, a firearm and uh, and use it safely to defend themselves. So. I agree. I agree. Okay. Okay. So you work on those guidelines and you get back to us on what you think is fair. Now, while we have officers in here, officers, I believe you all can agree that a lot of people break road laws very often, correct? Yes, sir. Oh, definitely. Yes, sir. Okay, so how do you want to handle um, Chief Ripley? I mean, not Chief Ripley, um, District Attorney Ripley. How do you want to um, do the guidelines for traffic violations? Traffic violations? I think what we have in place now uh, maybe isn't working the way that it should. How do you feel about it, Judge? Do you think it's fair? I, I don't know what's in play right now. Right, right now, I, I, one thing I've noticed with the traffic violations mm -hmm. is the red lights. A lot of my clients are aware of the stop and go. Like they stop, they wait, they check both lanes, and then they go about their business. However, I had a conversation with the chief down at LSPD that that's no longer the case. They have yeah, to wait the entire duration of the red light. I've never heard of stop and go. I only heard. Yeah, of, I've never. I've heard only heard of green means go, yellow means slow down, and um, right. red means stop. So means whoever stop it. whoever is saying stop and go, that's absolute horseshit. You get what I'm saying? Stop sign and stop and go. So with these traffic laws being broken, the rate of car accidents is very high so what do you want to put the guidelines community service 15 months what do you want to do you are you're in charge of guidelines right me and um judge wrinkler we can be in charge of parole conditions but we will come up well, with that what i will say is that i worked with colonel white before i left uh the department and we did come up with a series of guidelines as far as traffic violations goes for ticketing so those have been amended. They were excessive prior to that. I will say that. I mean, I'm talking $20,000 for a red light violation, you know? Uh, but we have adjusted those. They are fair and within the means of the citizens of Los Santos. However, they are, you know, uh, still a punishment. I think if someone has multiple tickets that they have not paid, then clearly they should uh, perhaps maybe do some community service. And if that doesn't work, then maybe jail time. Depending on, you know, of course, what they've done. Okay. Or we can impound I, the vehicle. Of course, yes. Uh, police actually have the ability to impound the vehicle uh, directly from their MDW system by calling in a tow. Uh, tow will come and take the car and uh, repossess it. Um, and essentially, they will not be able to pull their car out of the garage whatsoever. Okay. It, okay. it becomes a uh, property of the police. So that is something that we can do. Okay. Now, um, Mr. Kane. Yes. You need to talk to the district attorney. And district attorney, it is your job to let us know any and all lawyers that has registered their bar license with you. Because no lawyers who have not registered with the DOJ system will be able to fight a case in court. So, Mr. Kane, you will be the first one to register with district attorney and me and Judge Wrinkley, we'll recognize you as a lawyer who can't fight in court. It's an honor, appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, would you like me to go ahead and enter him into the system, Judge? Yeah. Okay, give me just a moment here. Mr. King, can you show me your ID? Yes, give me one second to pull it out. Okay. So PD, <clears throat> LSPD, SASP, um, yeah. you guys feel free to get with us at any time that somebody that claims that they want to try or want to take it to court. We will be available to you guys. 
and um we will have people in place mr king are you down to be um a, a court appointed lawyer as well as a paid lawyer like when these officers are telling these guys you have the right to an attorney if you can't afford one we will need an attorney so are you down to be that guy well yes yeah, that was my next question right now i run a private law firm would this consider me as a public defender um you are what you are sir you, if you have a private law firm then you are a lawyer who pays right but since you are the my only registered pay. lawyer you are obligated because it is these people right to have an attorney if they can't afford one and since you are the only lawyer you are obligated to fight these cases i mean look at it just like practice you get to practice so next time you have a big trial you have some um stripes under your belt you know what i mean sure um i actually also have some other lawyers in my contact list who may be interested in becoming a public defender yeah you, right you, now I you have some you have some um prospect lawyers i cannot recognize them as lawyers because they have not registered with the doj so make sure first order of business is getting those guys registered okay Correct. yeah okay and um officers like i said we would be working directly with you guys with the parole thing we would need you guys because if someone violates we would need you to um go get them and send them about their way right and if somebody um is asking to go to court then um you just get with us at the doj and we'll meet them there all right i'm gonna get with the uh the chief and have him set some parole offices and then i'm sure the uh the, the uh girl from the state over there do the same on his all right all right is walter white here uh just arrived they had a little difficulty of fitting my bald head through the door okay right now, walter okay so walter did you hear that last thing that last bit about people that you arrest no so if someone um asked to um, go to court you just reach out to us and we'll give them their date all right and how can i reach you guys through discordia email what's your preference um you can email or you can call you all you guys will need the um district attorney um information because she will be the prosecutor the leading prosecutor for all cases in the, st in the um, state gotcha and at some point uh colonel white uh and chief mikey who's not here but douglas i would also like to maybe post some sort of a training uh you know, I know at one point we were in talks of doing some sort of CSI division or a certification. I really want to make sure that you guys are able to collect the evidence that's necessary to build a case. So maybe we can put that together too. Sure. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, I heard like a system like that was in place, right? Uh, like in the works right now. So mm -hmm. if you can share that with me as well. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So, so uh, I got a question. What's going on? So with my detective division, how is it gonna work if we um we need to request a warrant? Who should we you ask? Our uh, chief, uh, the DA. Well, do we get with the district attorney? Yep, the chief okay. will contact me, or if he's not here, the highest up will get in contact with me. Yes, ma'am. So so me, me and Mr. Wrinkley won't get involved until it's actually time to go to court. The district attorney is is everything, and the DOJ until it's time to go to court. So make sure you guys get with the district attorney on everything, so that um. When it's time to go to court, everybody's ready. Uh, okay, Mister, just for a, cl a clear understanding, right quick about the warrant. So, chief contact the district attorney, and the district attorney contact the judge. Exactly. We sign off on it, right? Right. Okay. Right. All right. But the chief won't. That. The chief won't contact the judge directly. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's how that goes. So, chief, um, what I would need you to do is. Not Chief, um, District Attorney, what I would need you to do is start working on those guidelines. Got you. Um, Mr. Kane, you, Mr. Kane, I need you yes. to get all your lawyers registered so they, they can um, fight in court. Sounds good with me. I'll contact them via email and via phone. Okay. Um, Wrinkly, I need you to come with me so we can discuss parole guidelines. Mr. Wrinkly, you there? Yeah, I'm here, sir. Apologize. Yeah, I need you to come with me so we can discuss parole guidelines and um, SASP and LSPD. Um, I just need you guys to continue to do the great work that you all are doing. You guys are really applying pressure out there. I've seen it. The, the city feels it. And the, the city is much safer with you guys out here. And we appreciate everything that you do. Yes, sir. We appreciate that, sir. Thank you, sir. For sure. For sure. Um, um, We're one phone call away. So, yeah, let's keep in touch, guys. Yes, all right, Judge Joe, did you still have my number for uh, Bailey? Can I get you all number as well? Um, yeah, I do need your number. Yeah. 
And let me formally right, introduce myself in case the ones that don't know me. My name is Judge Dick Wrinkley. I am new in town. I will and I will uphold the law. You're wrong, you're wrong. Okay? What's your number, Judge? We got this clear understanding. All right, it's uh, 499. Nice Mr. Wrinkle, good. Four nine nine three two phone number. Yeah, three two zero. Uh, I left my phone in the car, sir. Uh, zero so, six. Um, I'll stop by the police station. All right, I'm gonna call you District right now. Attorney, is the uh, warrant already signed off on that uh, that court right, case? To all right, seize all right. assets? Uh, I actually personally contacted the IRS, so I believe that is in process at the moment. You gotcha. may want to you may want to reach out as well just to be sure uh, to see if there's anything that SASP or LSPD need to do in terms of asset seizure, whether that is uh, you know actually going into the home blah blah blah. Reach out to who? Uh, the IRS. It's uh, the Bank of North. Come on, George, is who we're doing IRS proceedings through? Uh, it's good to meet you, Dick Stinkley. Actually, it's not my both here. Hey, 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 Dick Wrinkley, sir. I thought it was. Oh, sorry, Mr. Mr. Sorry, Mr. Wrinkley. Okay. Should come. I just came here. Don't start chapping my ass. Okay? I'm sorry, Mr. Wrinkley. Actually, well, I have both the judge here. Do you mind if I speak with you in private? Yeah, uh, what's going on, sir? So, I actually have a court case that I did prepare for that's on the floor. Okay. Um, I have a pre trial memoranda if you would like to review it. Okay. Um, but I do have my clients on standby to get this issue pressed. Okay, I would, um, Judge Wrinkley would take uh -huh. this case. I will come sit in, um, uh -huh. and Judge Wrinkley would take this case. You need to go, um, go through, every, go over everything with the district attorney, and um, when okay. you guys are ready for court, just let us know. Let us know, and um, and we'll get right on it. All right. So, do, do you guys have a set schedule, a shift that you guys got going on, or is it uh, up in the air right now? Um, so the district attorney has um, our sale and home phone numbers. So whenever she okay. calls, then uh, we'll we'll get ready for court, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right, that sounds good. Then. All right, appreciate you. It's a pleasure yeah. meeting you both. All right, too, sir. Um, let's take a ride, Wrinkly. Yes, sir. How's your day been going so far, there, bud? Oh, my day's been all good, man. I like that suit you got on. Thank you. Men's warehouse. Um, no, no, this is actually from, um, the proves the one. um, former former, former, former meals is crazy, Judge. You guys have a good one. Have a good day, sir. All right. I'll have her Mercedes one day. You will. Just you up, keep up will. this law. You definitely will. Let's go get a drink, my nigga. Jesus Christ, I thought we would never leave that motherfucker. Man, why did you see that fat booty bitch in there in the lobby, boy? Hey, listen, did you see the district attorney? She had legs for days. I did, man. Man. So check this out. Know what I'm saying? I gotta talk about prep and shit around them fuck niggas in there, man. Yeah, this is crazy. The little young nigga do loyal, we can hear, boy. Read what, what, what transpired? Man. The nigga, uh, ran. So look, the nigga called a K. He ain't even had the cat, bro. Mm -hmm. The police talking to some whole other niggas, right? Mm -hmm. The nigga Duke, he take a little side, look like awesome off road shit, donut on to the freeway, and the police like, what the fuck is he doing? So they pull him over. He try to get off on them ass, try to get off on their ass, right? Mm -hmm. He can't handle the Rari though. Feel me? Mm -hmm. He can't handle the Ferrari. So he spin out. And they um taking him to jail for fleeing and evading. Say, let me just search you, see what you, you know? Mm hmm And dude had like 300 bands dirty. Then there 400 grams of Why crack. Why like that? 400 grams of crack. Was this a pay, Lord? <clears throat> Shit, he better not have to pay that nigga. If he paid that nigga, he out of pocket. He better not have to pay his ass. What the fuck going on here? This is closed. Know another spot. You know a spot that got good Jets drinks pizza? and good. Yeah. Come on. Spot they got by Jess Pizza. Come on. I ain't gonna lie though. I hope he didn't pay that judge. He ain't he ain't even have to go to jail, bro. Mm -hmm. 
So look, what's up with this parole guy last year? Okay, so look, three check-ins. You gotta maintain the job. No GSR positives. No GS. That's dropping dirty if you positive. That's a violation. Definitely, Definitely dirty. Um, can't be around no known felons. Can't be around no person that owns a weapon, no matter if they have a license or not. No weapons, no weed. No, you really just gotta walk the straight and narrow. Anything that you're doing is not straight and narrow. You out of there. Go home and go to work. That's it. Go home and go to work. But the main That's thing it. is you better you better have a job, right? You better check in three times. You better drop clean. Damn, so bad I had no too. weapon. Restitution. Gotta pay off your restitution. Gotta pay the restitution off or you can't get off the road. You can't get off. Yeah. Tequila Lala. This is one of my little spots. No, it's not. Back there. Yeah, right there on the corner over there. Oh, I see Tequila the yellow Lala. building right there? Yes, sir. I can one park in the back here. Okay, I've been here a couple yeah, times. Yeah, you can park in the back. it be little honey dips in there every now and then. Okay. You wanna nibble on a judge dick. Okay. Yeah, they, they, you know what I'm saying? They, um, they like, they want that judge money, man. Yeah, oh, that judge money. Speaking of judge money, when am I get my first paycheck, man? Uh, they ain't get your paycheck yet? I just came. I haven't gotten a paycheck yet, sir. I'll make sure they get it to you. Good yeah. drink. Gotta loosen up. I'll make sure they get it to you. Day. You know, the bonus is, um, 500. 500 bonus? We gotta go down. 500,000 bonus, man. Okay, then. Where you Sounds think the beans right came from, man? Where you think the suit came from, man? Yeah, you looking good, man. Time for it, man. You looking good, man. Looking good, man. Appreciate that, man. What you drinking, man? It's on me. It's on you? Uh, I I'll take a... Uh, give me some cognac. Give me some brown. All right, man. Bet that. They say brown bring it down, but brown bring me round. No cap. <laughs> I like that. You know? Pretty, man, pretty toast, man. That. Toast, man. Let's make a toast, man. What's the toast to, man? Toast is to um. Let me see. Let me see. We gotta think of something great on this one because because some motherfuckers calling of, us your honor, nigga. How about that? Yeah, yeah. This is the beginning of something great, man. Okay. Big toast. Big toast to the black judges. There ain't that many black judges out here, man. Shit, not besides Joe Brown and Mathis. Yeah. And them niggas ain't you know. No, I, I think they some sellouts. Yeah, man. They ain't on that for real. Yeah, they, they try. They doing this shit for the clout. They Uncle Times. They on TV with this shit. They doing this shit for the clout. Yeah. Yeah, we really, we times. really, we really getting kingpins coming through our shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, Judge. I'm buzzing like a motherfucker. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that brown, yeah, that brown bring you around. Man, brown bring me around. I'm tipsy than a bitch. I can go take somebody to the hotel. You know, you know, Congress lady Condoleezza Rice. Yeah. You know, she texted my phone the other day. You know, this bitch had the nerve to ask me. What'd she say? And I get it up yet. I said, this the last time, yeah, I was, listen, I'm not gonna lie, last time I was over there, I was a little nervous, you hear me? I started at the country club, she was looking for you, nigga. Yeah, I was a little nervous, it wasn't because I couldn't get it up, it's because it had a little smell to it, you know, I ain't with all that smelling shit. Man, listen, Guinevere in the Brookshires, bro, was at the mm -hmm. country club golfing, mm -hmm. I saw her in there, she pulled up to me, you seen, um, you seen Mr. Wrinkly or whatever, I'm like, mm -hmm. Um, he'll be in here in about 30 minutes, but she had left. That's when you walked in and shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Man. It was the smell. It's like it just came on. Like, I couldn't deal with that, man. Like, what do you want me to do with that? Nah, I feel Then I got to go home to my wife. I can't be smelling like that's that. That's what I'm saying. So what your wife saying about her text to your phone, though? She ain't going through your phone? She No, she ain't go to my phone. I got a, I got another phone for another phone. Like, mm. I got a phone for a phone that's under a phone that I keep in the trunk under the spare tire. Okay. Yeah, she don't never catch that phone. Better keep that motherfucker on silent. Yeah, it's on silent at all times. Don't call me, bitch. I'll call you. Yeah, hey, what you hit your wife with? The, oh, I got to work late. Got to work late. I'm up at the office. I'm about to use you now that I'm in town. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All that, right. Use me. Definitely yeah. use you. Let, let, hey, tell her we working on some unsolved cases. You hear me? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> unsolved cases never end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We working on some unsolved cases. We going to be in the office a little late. Don't wait up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you got on the agenda for the day? We got any more cases on the docket? Um, yeah. So I think they' about to have you try a case. Um, I got to I got to get in touch with the district attorney, right quick. Matter of fact, let me let me call the district attorney right okay. now. You got the district attorney number? Go get a, I don't have, even have a phone. Come sorry. on, come on. Let's let's go get your phone. Come on. Okay. Yes, sir. Bye. <laughs> nice little hole in the wall spot, you know? Yeah, man. Nobody never um, suspect us to be here. No, not at all. Yeah, man. As long as you walk on a straight and narrow as a judge, bro, 
You can take this fucking city by storm, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They still, they still, hey, hey, they still think I'm from um, Texas. I'm from Grand Rapids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not doing anything to jeopardize my job. This big paycheck I'm going to get. They think I'm from Texas. I'm from Grand Rapids. Not you from Gun Roo. Yeah, Gun Roo. Dry around these parts. Uh, what kind of car you like, man? Honestly, like this. Go one of these. This is a nice car. I take the BMW, you know. And if we need to swap it out, you know what I mean? We definitely can swap it out. So how about this? Until your paycheck come, uh -huh. I get your cell phone. Uh -huh. I got a BMW for you. Okay, then I appreciate that. I'll pay you right back there, good brother. Did you hear about that? murderous shooting that happened at Jets yesterday? I did. I saw it all over Weasel News. Oh God, I was hoping those guys came through my courtroom. You yeah. know what I was going to do. I don't even think them guys were caught, but that was such a tragic, tragic shooting. Yeah, they, they running around here and just killing people like it ain't nothing. Here. Merciless murders. Let me, let me give you this money right quick. Hold on. You got that, brother? Got that, good brother. I appreciate it. No problem, no problem, no problem. And I don't give a fuck what they say. I'm going to need me a pistol. Oh, no, we definitely need pistol. And we need licenses. Absolutely. You been down to Dunkin' Donuts? I haven't been down there. Okay. They got some good donuts down there? Absolutely. They ain't giving us no old shit, is they? No, nah, no, nah, hell no. Nah. I, I, I know when they fresh. I need my shit warm. I need to see them yeah. cook them. Yeah, I need my shit a little steam coming off the top of them. And I don't want that sprinkle bullshit. Mm hmm. Try to hit me with some sprinkles. What the hell is that going on down there? What you say we go get that BMW? Yeah, that's a good idea. This is a nice automobile you got here, man. It's a bad motherfucker. Appreciate that, brother. You got the peanut butter interior in here. <laughs> yes, sir, Reebok. This guy just running rampant. Yeah, this guy is up. Oh, my. Keep going. Just get this drive. Just drive. Do not stop. I'm not stopping for his motherfucking ass. So he get my goddamn plate. Yeah, we don't have to hide. Yeah, we can drive the BMW after this. Yeah, we gonna go and put this up. This motherfucker hot. Yeah, it's hot. You got a little blood on the, on the front bender. Oh, got a blood on it? A little blood on the front fender. Let me go and run this light then. Drive that beans right there. What kind of job they had? Uh, probably a hustler. Mm -hmm. That's all you see around Los Santos. It's motherfucking hustlers, drug dealers, and murderers. How much is that BMW? I believe it's 100. 100 flat. Let's see. You want the two door or the four door? The four door, the new. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna um, wire you this money right now. I sure appreciate that, man. You know, once this FEMA check come and I get on my feet, you know? Let me take it. Yeah, okay, let me get up in here and get it. I'll be out front waiting on you. Come get me. You hear me? Yeah, nigga heard me. Look at this motherfucker here. Makes me think it's the 745. Makes me think of Gucci, man. Yes, sir. For the Gucci yeah, interior. With, uh, with the Gucci interior. I see a real Nick. I mean, a real judge when I look at the real judge. Man. Real judge. Yeah, real judge. You want to drive it? Hell yeah. Let me drive this motherfucker. Man, test this fucker out. This is a pump. This fucker got me pumped. Woo! Yes, sir. <laughs> Congratulations on this big bad motherfucker. Thank you, sir. I appreciate this, man. This is nice that you brought me all the way down here to Los Santos and put me in this position, man. I am forever grateful. Oh, uh, no problem, man. No fucking problem at all, man. We're gonna go fill the tank up. Did you want? Do you want to call the district attorney right quick? Uh, yeah. What's her and number? See what case is on the docket. 
me, yeah, let me call her so I can hold in and store her. Um, I'm gonna give you the number right now. Let me know you're ready for it. One second, please. Let me go ahead and type her name up in here. Okay, read it off. 850. 850. 629. 629. 88. 88. Okay. 850, 629, 88. Hey, let's go ahead and get her a call real quick. Think she wear panties? Absolutely not. Tell you the way she walking. What them fellas over there doing? Oh my god, he just assaulted that man. He's motherfucking hooligans. Hooligans indeed. No answer. I'm going ahead and send her a message. She probably don't realize recognize this number. Oh, uh, I'll give her a call. I just sent her a text. See if it was any cases on the docket. My seat though. Yeah, the DA's office is not answering for me either. She got to be a very busy lady. Let's talk about the um, let's talk about the office and see if they still up there. Gotcha. Lock your door. Do you know these motherfuckers are jumping your car? No, it is locked. Yeah, this a bad automobile right here, man. I'm fucking with this automobile. I'm a fuck all kind of mistresses is this. Smoke any of that weed? Okay. Smoke any of that weed? Nah, I ain't smoking none of that weed for yet. We gotta try it out once we leave here. Hold on, let me transform real quick and now. Knock, 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 knock. <laughs> uh, Miss District Attorney? No, I don't think they in here. No, she's not here. You think she sleep here? Um, I think she has a home somewhere. Okay. I just don't know. If she sleep in the office, she definitely can put in a coffin. I'll kill that put Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> Think they up at the courtroom? I highly doubt it. You wanna change the color on this car or you gonna leave it red? Uh I like this fire red, not gonna lie. Black would be more appropriate. Did you see the, the grill on this mother? Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing, officer? How's it going, gentlemen? Chilling, how chilling, man. Have, have you saw? Have you seen the district attorney? Oh. Alright, sorry. I just the radio comms is really loud. I have to turn my radio on. What was that, sir? Have you seen the district attorney? I have not, unfortunately, sir. No, I have not. All right, you have a good one. You too. All right. All right, there, officer. I'm gonna drive myself home. Okay. How long will you be in the outside tonight? Um, I'm way around a little bit to see if any cases pop up on the dock and if none pop up, and you know, yeah, I'll take it in for the night. I don't want you to judge me on my home. Right. I would not judge you, sir. It's our job to judge others. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. Wonder if my fire's still going. Yep, my fire's still going. Hold on, wait a wait one motherfucking minute now. What's going on? What's your, uh, what, 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 what you mean your fire's still going? What is? I mean, I don't have a house, judge. Frankly. What do you mean? I don't have a house. Do you want to so talk? Do you, you stay wanna... here? This is my living room where I said the fire was still going. I mean, it looks kind of cozy, but. This is my living room. My dining room is over here. This is my table. Is that a Versace and, sofa? And this is the master bedroom in this tent right here. Is is this. Which tent? This one or this one? This one right here. Blue one or the green? This Car the, Carl stays this in the, the green one. Who is Carl, sir? 
Um, somebody I met down here. I met a lot of people living down here in these parts. So, Carl stay down here in the green one? Yeah. Okay, who lives over there then? Um, I don't talk to none of those guys over there. Are you beefing with those guys over there? They look like they have more stuff than you guys. Um, uh, not beefing, but they just loot and rob and steal stuff from stores, so, you know, I don't do none of that, but being as I'm a judge. So where will you keep that suit once you take it off? I don't take the suit off. I go for a swim in it, and that that um, I go for a swim in the ocean, and the salt in the ocean naturally cleans and is a natural exfoliant. But it's, it's not natural detergent, a judge. Um, I don't get dirty. You see this box right here? This box, clean. Yeah. I keep this box clean. This box looks kind of dirty to me, judge. This box not dirty. I don't know what's oh, wrong with you. So you you never take this. I don't take the suit off. My shirt and my socks are stiff. My so I sit those socks against that wall. They're standing right up. That's how I'm living. Do you need a room down here, or you have a house? <laughs> Do you have a house or do you need a room down here? I didn't, I didn't, I'll just go to a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my hey, bad. whoa, whoa. <laughs> Press charges on your ass. <laughs> <My bad. coughs> oh my God. Oh shit. Oh. All right. If you ever need to play state, man, you know? I will, I will not, I will not call you, okay? Hey, this not. fire goes all night. This fire. This fire right here goes all in that, man. I like that. So whose sofa is that that you're about to sit on? Is that your sofa? Yes, sir. Got it at a garage sale. Three dollars. Kind of nice, man. I like the like the two tones. And I had to wash the piss out of. I had to wash the piss out of. Yeah, it was a little pissy. It was very pissy. But I'm telling you, the stains on the sofa complements the dirt on the, the debris on the ground right here. Yeah, I mean, we, we it's a good community down here, you know. But I'll have a house soon, and we will see if okay. you laugh then. Okay, okay. We definitely have a. We definitely need to have you. I can't. I don't feel comfortable just leaving you down here. How come you don't sleep in your car? Damn, that's a good idea. Yeah, you can definitely just sleep in the beans. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's more comfortable and cozy. I don't I have a car. I can sleep in Somebody's car. still in my car. <laughs> Oh, the boy! Oh, yeah, we about to put him. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> 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 Call the chief. Why you sitting there? Call the chief. What's the chief number? Oh, my God. This is, this is ridiculous. That's what happens when you talk about people, though. <laughs> no, no, you just let this guy. What's the chief number? I gave it to you. You gave me the district attorney number. I need the chief. You son of a bitch. I don't have the chief number. Now we will not be called none of those names. Oh. <laughs> hey, okay. You need to keep your hands to yourself. Okay, they come down here for this. That was All my right? lick back, man. We're good. Not my fault that you sleep in this little Sacconi area. This guy stole. Is that the police? That's the hey, police officer. right there. Hey, hey officer. That's hey, the police. Officer. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? I just stole my vehicle. I have a red BMW. It's a 745. You wouldn't miss it in the broad day. Listen to me. Go find my vehicle. I need you to put a warrant out for this guy. A red we, can we get? A, can we ride with you guys? We don't have a car down here. I need him in the courtroom. Go to the known chop shop. Go to the known chop shop. Yes, sir. I got you. That's it. It is a red BMW 745, 2022. Okay. Oh, you need to be advised on a red BMW. I'm not gonna save that fucking judge car. Tired. No, it's still. Make a left. Shop shop right. Yeah, right over here. Oh my, if if yeah, they probably already chopped. You got the man. Did y'all did y'all get eyes on how the guy looked? No he man, we just on, pulling he off. He had on a vest. No, I seen everything. He had on a vest. Oh, like the, the, the chop shop. The chop shop's not right here anymore. I don't. No, yeah, it's the chop shop has been shut down. I don't down. see anything. No, it's shut down. So he, he oh, okay. So he's joyriding. He's joyriding in the judge's car. 
Yeah, BMW, he definitely joy riding that. He might have hit the highway. I think I, I think he pulled out a gun, too. And I'm ready to yeah, press charges. Really There's a the stolen weapon. vehicle on alert. Uh, suspect could be armed and dangerous. Yeah, we're going to get that for sure. That's a red That's a BMW. It's Hey, gentlemen, y'all seen a... Uh, y'all, gentlemen, y'all hear me? Y'all seen a red BMW pass through here? Look at that hoochie mama right there. Uh, I need you to keep your eye out. Sure. Young lady, you all right? Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, yes, officer, I'm okay. Thank you for uh, asking. I appreciate right, that. Don't be passing out again, man. I'm going to try not to. You know no soliciting. Yo, no soliciting. Oh, I'm Oh, my God. Did anyone of you guys know CPR? Hell no. Oh, sir. Oh, that nigga down bad, man. I don't need it. Um, what I will say is if you guys do find the villain, who stole this nice judge's car? We will not. Be, we gonna. We gonna wait in the car and let you guys do y'all thing. Cause I, I can't find. So you don't have a weapon? No. You need to be. Well, we do catch this guy. Like, y'all like giving it to him. Want, Definitely do need a license. Is that the BMW right there? That's the BMW Where right there. I got eyes on the BMW. Oh, it's not the BMW. It's not the BMW. It's negative. Oh, we. Oh, sir, we was on that. I thought it was, man. I showed up out. He no, they like the joyride at the he hotel. Went left. Try swerving through D block, through them gang yeah, neighborhoods. Yeah, like hotels. Road. Yeah, he went that way. Yeah, they like the motels. They like the gang neighborhoods. I hope he like jail. I hope he like jail food. Can you guys make sure y'all have y'all seat get on back there? Oh, Absolutely. Sure. Marcus, you talking about my driving again, bro? No, sir. Uh, just make sure these, uh, these the judges part. have they seat. Hey, Judge Wrinkles and shit. Or, uh, no, 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 sir. My name is Judge Dick Wrinkly, okay? It is Wrinkly. Okay? Wrinkly Dick. Wr Dick, sir. Dick Wrinkly, okay? Dick Wrinkles. Wrinkly. <laughs> Say it with me. Wrinkles? No, Lee is at the end. Oh, Wrinkly. Wrinkly. Okay, so Dick Wrinkly. Jeff Dick Wrigley, why haven't we drove down the road? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we're gonna hit road now. Sorry, Wrigley. Feel like I'm on a ride along, man. My blood's pumping. Without a weapon, that's the scary part, though. Just good. Judge did a good job in that, on that case, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I try to be very fair. You know, I heard all, I heard what the state had to say, and they had the um, ironclad evidence. Nothing you can do about that. Good. Hey, Judge, how much you get paid, man? Yeah, is it? Transfer career. How much I, I really don't discuss them type of things, sir? Oh, my God. This thing could be good, bro. Yeah, could you please keep your eyes on the road, okay? Hey, you, I have your wrinkly stole. ass doing... Oh, what is they doing over there? I have your wrinkly ass doing desk work, okay? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. You, you right. Matter of fact, you guys, of course, this guy just stole a job being the... Calling me out any type of way? He jumped in my. I was at the judge's true. house. I can't tell y'all where he stayed. And his I don't want to know where he stayed. Jumped in my automobile and took off. We were sitting in my place. living room. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, oh my yo, god! Baby. Pull him over. What are you doing? Is this your car? No, that ain't it. But pull his ass over. This motherfucker just ran into an automobile. Of pull your asses over. Yeah, it is a police. Pull up over there, man. We can duck in the 1011 over here near that repair on uh, Bell Avenue. What's the so I need you to hit the engine. Cut the engine out for me, sir. Alright, judges. Look, I need you to go ahead and just stay calm, alright? Alright. So just you normal know, trap stuff. Uh, Mr. Marcus, make sure you stay you know, calm and right, stay with him, alright? Yes, sir. How y'all doing? I'm Officer Drizzy with LSPD, man. You know why I stopped you? No, I don't know why. Man, you just hit my car back there, man, and I do not got no insurance on this undercover shit. Bruh. Okay, so you got yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure you got insurance. Yeah, I appreciate that. Go ahead and your ID card, too, sir. Really gonna have to pop out handle that bit. Oh, for real? So why you driving you with a mask on? You got that? Just cause, nigga, coronavirus, nigga. Sir, you me. got you got a 0% tense and you got a mask on. That don't make no sense, sir. We need to go ahead and remove that. Thank you, sir. Hey, Judge. My nigga, my nigga can't. 
Oh, that sir, actually, this is a young man I've seen in the sales quite a few times. Mr. Marcus, I need you to run the name. Don't know me. Don't know me, bro. Hey, bro, I gave you my ID. I'm getting back in the car, fam. Yes, sir. That's fine, sir. You give me a name. Mr. Boogie Jackson. Go ahead and sit tight for me, Mr. Boogie. See his ass down there about two, three times, Marcus, um, that shit. Mr. Boogie was already, uh, he already did time of state, yeah. Since the murder of Elio. Look at this fucking car he riding in. Possession of this, yeah, he, he already did time, yeah. Yeah, but look what he riding in. Oh, this nigga, car. Get... He just did time. How you get that car? Oh, I'm saying, bro. Ain't no damn way, bro. They would have repossessed this shit, you know? That's what I'm saying. Looks like my car with a darker tint. Make sure Mr. Billy Jackson. Tent number two. Okay, so this car comes back registered to you, but I'm, uh, you know, I'm inclined to ask, you know, as a convicted felon, what you doing to have a vehicle this nice? What? Bitch ass nigga, hey bro, if you finna get my ticket, get my ticket and suck Whoa. my dick, nigga. Whoa! Sorry, 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 sorry. Whoa! No need for no hostility, that's a simple question. I'm gonna hand your ticket through the window, I'm gonna let you go, alright? Alright, bro. Alright, man, I'm calling your insurance company, man. You better not. You that dick, disrespect. Hey, my nigga, you gave pay me that, that voice, you, nigga. Alright, well, you better pay it and get borrow the money, my nigga. Nigga, what? I think the niggas know something. You gotta keep it close. I apologize, judges. No, 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 you do what you gotta do. Fight Hold on, crap. follow that car, follow that car, follow that car. See which way they went, Marcus. It had to be right or left. Yeah, I think we lost them. I think we lost them. No, they got up there. They yep, that there. was good, yeah. There's the... Right there on. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so look. I, I, judges, I do not want to take y'all in the field, but if I'm a, if y'all want, I can show you. Right here. Yep, no, I'm gonna show y'all where I go. We're gonna stay we in the car. Frankly, we're this. not getting involved in this. Not, I'm staying right here. Hey, Dick, come on, bro. You don't, don't be scared. I feel like don't, you be a, don't be a scared, little Dick. They talking about the judge. Put your windows down. I think we might have been compromised. Yeah. This is car when I rolled that window down. Yeah, they was definitely talking about the judge, though, man. What you think? They got something on your head or something? No, I Maybe don't that's know why they stole guys. the car. Sorry, I mean, I've been being in this job a long time. They stealing your car? Sound like it was intentional. They stole Mr. Wrinkley's car. Yeah, they stole oh, mine. They stole but mine. But it was car. life selling for me. Cause Mr. Wrinkley, you just we're popping both up judges, out of nowhere. So we're brothers. So it's like they stole it from me. So maybe they're mad about their guy getting sent to state there now. So what's your name, if you don't mind me asking? My name is Malcolm Jones. Okay, Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones, man, where Mr. Wrinkley coming from? Where he, you know what I'm saying? It's a little suspicious. He popped up out of nowhere, getting his car stolen and shit. Got people talking about him and stuff. Mr. Wrinkley is a stand up guy, okay? I went to so school with him. We went to Yale Law School together. Uh -huh. He's legit. Don't move. Don't move. I know, I see him. I see him. This is how you do it. You want, you want them to know sometimes. These gentlemen right here have a connection with your car being stolen, Mr. Wrigley. I've been doing this job a long time, I can promise you that, all right? How you so sure? Because these D-Block fellas, they're all connected to this Mr. Sale, right? Mm -hmm. This Mr. Sale is notorious for kingpin drug, notorious mm -hmm. for stolen vehicles. Mm -hmm. He had a Go back around there, go back around there, go back around there. He, he had, had a 50 count. count. Right? A 50? Yes, sir. Take a he had a yes, nifty? You want to get on a foot or, or watching the car? No, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Look, there they go. Oh, that's them. Yeah, them young men wouldn't be moving like that if they didn't have no, no suspicious behavior. Yeah, they are acting very, very suspicious. I think that, yeah, they got something to see, uh, Look you at see this up black lady, black. This is a yeah. long drug, black up there. Right. Judges, we going I'm trying to get a visual, but we might have to get out on foot. That's that's definitely some sales going on, man. Dude, you have a deal. Yes, I, I take you. Need to make sure these boys is careful, man, or are safe. We, y'all don't got a gun, man. Let me go get some. Let me go get some. Uh, we'll be all right. These windows are tinted. No right. one knows we're in here. Yes, sir. Oh. 
Jared, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, we're gonna get the fuck out of here after this. These fuckers just stole my car. There's a lot of traffic on that block. Them boys are bringing in big money, big money. I'm like money making Mitch in the 80s. Yeah. Huh, they didn't lock their door, but I'm not gonna do that. Don't do it, don't do it. Frankly, no. I won't be involved in this. In the car. I'm not gonna you be involved. You become this scary. I'm not gonna Get be involved in no bail. Scared of cat, scared of cat, scared of cat. Now you know not to call me a scared of cat. You're scared of cat. All right, fuck it. Let's go. Hey, motherfucker, we're gonna lose our fucking jobs. Do you understand? No, we're not. We're gonna pull up on the targets. Oh, there's a lot of going on over here. <laughs> you see my car? Nope. Do you see my car? Pull up, hit the, pull up, hit the lights, pull up, hit the lights. You got the lights. Oh, what are you doing, sorry. sir? Sorry, you can't. You're under arrest. Oh, oh. The fuck did we turn? Where did we turn the star skin hutch? Go back there. Go back there. We don't have it. We're okay. We got any customers. Oh, why did he open fire? Why did that cop open fire? Trigger happy ass. Fuck. Get in the car. Get in the car. Okay. Chase him. Hurry. Hurry. What the fuck are you doing? Get it, Skull get it, cap. Get it, get it. Officer, why did you open fire? I'm trying to run him over. Didn't you see him run all them officers over? Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. I wanted to know if he was going to say that, though. Oh, I got you, I got you. You got a visual on this? On these yes, vehicles? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The radio came with me on the radio, sir. That's why we should have came out with cuffs and pistols. Pistols and cuffs. <laughs> Damn, this shit is exciting. Make sure you guys have y'all seatbelts on. Uh, most definitely. So exciting. I wish Condoleezza Rice was here right now. I'm excited. <laughs> Are you going to radio in what the fuck is going on to your backup or anything? Officer? No, Damn. sir. No, sir. I held PD in front of me. They taking primary, sir. You know, Dale Earnhardt was here. He said you He coming out the other side. He's coming out the other side. He's fucking y'all up. Oh, my God. He's fucking y'all over is what he's doing. He's fucking y'all up is what he's doing. And you guys oh, don't even earn pain. Don't get that fucking piece of shit. Don't get that fucking piece of shit. 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 That piece of shit. At the next light, please make a left. Piece of shit. Piece of shit. Straight to get him. That's why the pit maneuver. Pit maneuver his eyes. Get him. I'll get him. Fucking slow down on me now, you little bitch. Get that place of shit, place of shit, place of shit. Watch and make sure they don't throw any units in the chaser. We're going southbound on Roy Lowstein Boulevard. Over. Suspect is in a white track hawk. You know what I'm running out of gas. Right here. Northeast on Dutch London Street. You said you don't have gas. It's not, it's not my car. Fucking dipshit. You know, you ran out of gas? Yeah, Lieutenant Drizzy gave me a piece of shit car. Piece oh of fucking God. shit. Why is he riding around in this Ford? Piece of shit, piece of shit. Stop. I told him about buying Ford. Ford's not built tough. You're not tough. I can't this help, is fucking bullshit. This is ridiculous. He just ran over five of Lieutenant our officers. Drizzy, tell me where uh, y'all are. On a full fucking recoil. Please don't hit him. People like he's about that life. Please break it to the gas. We're not gonna make it. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it. I'm out of here. Dangerous. Watch your back, Judge. Come on. Okay, you're Come on, Wrinkly. This is outrageous. I walk you guys to the. Uh... You can walk better, you can drive. Still play a little football? 
I don't want to tackle. Tackle, you motherfucker. Ugh. Yeah, football, man. You know, got my damn $200 suit dirty. That's talking about my fucking bed. Come on, judges. I need to escort you guys to the, uh, to the garage. garage. All right, let's do it. Get with a hood. This is the most notorious. You're in the way. What the fuck is this officer doing sitting right here? What is this officer doing? He's been sitting here for 17 hours. Hey, officer. Why you so shit? Let me get my car now. Got it, got it. All right, now. Nah. All right, have we a go. Good, we good, we good, we good. Put your seatbelt on, man. I don't even know. I'm going to fuck out. That's when all this fucking drama happened at your house. I have another house. We have another. I have another house. I need to clear my head. Mm -hmm. I got somewhere else. Don't you go over there. Not the house I took you to. I'm going to my, my second house. Right, it's your second home. Okay. Is it nicer than the first? Depending on what you think is nice. You gotta see. I'm sorry, officer. This is Judge Jones. We were running because some guys were just shooting at us. It's outrageous in these streets. I'm sorry about that, officer. Oh, okay. I'm sorry about that, real, officer. Man. All right. Well, where were they shooting at you guys at? Um, on our block. Um, they were selling drugs. We were oh. in the car with some officers, and they had a chase with this white track hog, and they were going for a long time, and they started shooting. And we were just trying to get up out yeah, of there, we, man. We got them. All right. All right, man. Have a good one. I apologize for that, man. No, no worries. Oh, sorry, 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 bro. It's all good. Get pulled over already. Look at you. Damn it, Malcolm. I talked myself out of any situation. And yes, you can spend a night if you want to. Spin it. Malcolm. Malcolm. Give me. Okay. Okay. All right, now this is fucking. You just going outrageous with this one, Malcolm. What the fuck is this, man? This is my second home in the fire steel house. Come on. Malcolm, what are you doing with yourself? Where's your money going? What you mean, where's my money going? Is somebody in that box? What the fuck is going on? No one's in the box. You sure? Look, it's got to percolate. Oh my. No, are you? No, you're not. This is not where you're laying. Malcolm. Yeah. Get the... Ma Malcolm, you know what? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely. This is out. Are, do you have this box shaking? Is this. Is that wooden boards? Is your sleep under, sir? What, what the fuck are you doing? Malcolm, get the fuck up. For Christ's sake. Knock this is this my shit fucking over. hand. Knock all this shit over. This is my fucking hand. Okay. This is not, this is unacceptable. Why don't you just rent you a hotel? I'm not doing that fucking drug infested hotel, motherfucker. Not gonna lie, the architect on this box and boards right here is way better than what you had over there. Look at well, this. Well, how about here. you cop a fucking squat, dipshit? This is nice over here. How this about you cop a nice. fucking squat? What oh, no, it's falling. It's falling. I think it's raccoons and possums in there, man. Nothing's around here, man. No, it's all type of stuff around here, man. But you show me a rat or anything. I'm trying to shut. Look at this. Is this fire hot? Let me see. Oh my god. Why would you try to push me in the fire, you son of a bitch? I was getting you out the goddamn way. I'm trying to see if it's. Does it? I'm trying to get warm. Shit. Oh yeah, it is kind of toasty. Ah, oh, man. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. Oh my fucking god. Are you okay? I'm good, man. I'm good, Are you man. Okay? I told you this, this suit is flame resistant. Fire? What the fuck? What are you buying from? This suit is flame resistant, baby. Get the fuck up. Who car is this, sir? Oh, sorry. Hey, I'm gonna sleep in the car then, man. 
Yeah, you need to sleep in the car. The Benz is more. The Benz is better. I understand you don't want to get it dirty, but it's definitely better. My fucking car is gone, man. You want to go check the empire? See so what's in there. Let's check it. I didn't have this car for, for twenty for twenty minutes, man. For twenty minutes, I didn't have this car. Might and then it's sentimental value because you bought it. I want to buckle up. You plan on driving out racing? Go ahead, check in there. Is that the okay? That's the police. My baby is back. You got your car, buddy. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and um, call it a night. You're out of here? Yeah, man. How long are you gonna be in the city, man? Oh, man. Don't look like gonna be no cases on the dock. Sun done fell out the skies, getting dark out here. There's no reason for me to be around. All right. I, I'll call you when I come out first thing in the morning. I got you, man. You just be safe. Which home are you going to? Um, I don't know. I might, um, let me see. Oh, this corner over here looks cozy. This corner is way cozier than where you were staying. I am not going to... Is it a roof up there? Yep. It, nope. It is not a roof up there, but it's still cozy. In fact, come here. Follow me. Take it in here. Follow where me. Where we're going. What are you going up here for, Malcolm? It's a roof right here, brother. Yeah, this is nice. I might as well go all the way up top, man. See the star, star guys or something, you know. Nice. Oh, you got the top floor presidential suite. Where will you sleep at up here? I would just find my way right here, man. This is a nice little little spot right here. I can see the vine wood sign. Everything. Let me see what you're looking at. You gotta turn around. Not working for me. And you keep on telling everyone your name's Dick Wrinkley. Don't forget, I know your real name, Hamilton. What's my real name? Oh man, Knight Hamilton. Hamilton? Not no fucking Hamilton. You tell these fuckers my name is Hamilton. I'm Dick Wrinkley. Okay. Whatever you say, Ham. Ham. My name is Dick. Okay. Hey man, listen man. When you come out tomorrow, man, let's really fucking do it, brother. You want to put it in work? Absolutely. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. I might well take a nap up here with you. All right, brother. All right, good brother. All right. Uh. W fucking stream, chat. W stream. No cap, man. Alright, bet, man. I'm good, chat. I appreciate you, man. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate you, man. Thank you very much, 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 man.